Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. This is day two of morning recharge. I want to bless the Lord for bringing us into the month of July. It was awesome day one. Hallelujah. We had a glorious time in God's presence. God has gone ahead of us. And I'm excited you are on this journey with me. Hold on to the journey to perfection. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm so excited that you could join this morning. As you join in this morning, uh, before we go and pray, I acknowledge that you are joining from various places. I want you to begin to share this with your family, with your friends, uh, you know, because God is going to bless us mightily today. I'm so excited about what God has in store for us today. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be powerful. God has been good to us. He brought us into this month to bless us, to increase us, to multiply us, to, to, to deliver us. Hallelujah. We are here to experience something different. Hallelujah. We give God praise and glory. I'm so excited about what God is doing with, uh, you know, with, with uh, prayer and liberation ministry, IPAM. God is doing marvelous things. Uh, he's taking us places. Uh, I'm so excited uh, for morning recharge. Uh, you know, if you want God to really, really recharge you specially this month, uh, you need to begin to press the share button, you know, or go to your uh, WhatsApp group and begin to share it with your friends and family. If you are on Facebook, begin to share it on your timeline because God is about to do something. Be a witness this morning to the power of God. The Bible says you shall receive power after the Spirit of God has come upon you and you shall be a witness. Hallelujah. If you want to really, really witness the power of God in this month, you will need to share this button with people. God is taking us places. No, we are going to be, 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 communicating them with heaven today because when you communicate with heaven something special happens not so many people has a privilege eh, to communicate with heaven but God has given us that privilege eh. he said in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 he said come boldly to the throne to the throne of grace hallelujah today we are going to be praying for grace eh, for perfection because this is our month of perfection. Grace for perfection. And you know, you know, in the in the generation where crookedness uh, is uh, is the is the things of order, you know, God separated Noah. Hallelujah. Look at what the word of God says. Um, in the book of uh, in the book of Genesis, chapter 6, um, verse Genesis chapter 6, verse 8. But the Bible says, But Noah, Noah found grace. In the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah, Noah found grace. There is what they call grace. Eh? Grace is the supernatural power of God. And grace is what brings perfection into our life. And we're going to be praying this grace into our life. The Bible says in the book of 2nd uh, second, second, uh, Corinthians chapter 9 verse 12. It says, my grace is sufficient for you. And my strength is made perfect for you in witness first peter chapter 5 verse 10 and the bible says for the god of all grace hallelujah oh lord the god of all grace god you do you know that your father is the god of all grace the you know, bible say after you have suffered for a while he has called you to eternal glory after you have suffered for a while he will establish you he will perfect and we, you know, you know, you know, uh, 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 perfect everything that concerns you. You know, we need to pray for perfection. And what brings perfection is grace. And we're going to be tapping into the grace of God right now. The Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 32, it says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, uh, which is able to build you up. So as we gather this morning, we're going to be tapping into the grace of God. Grace for supernatural living. Grace for uh, the divine perfection. The Bible says, come on to me, all ye that labor and ever land you. I will give you rest. We need the rest of God. We need the grace of God. In the name of Jesus. Look at verse 9 of the book of uh, Genesis, chapter 6, verse 9. The Bible says, this 
is the generation of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generation. No, there is a grace that makes people perfect. Crookedness might be the things of the, the, the order of the day. Things might just not go in the way. You know, wickedness might be raining. But the, when the grace of God comes upon you, it will bring into perfection. It will perfect everything that concerns you. So we're going to be praying for the grace of God to come upon me. To come upon you, to come upon your household, to come upon your business, to come upon everything. So when the grace of God is at work, hallelujah, you just need to take your rest. Hallelujah. When the grace of God is at work, you don't need, you know, any more effort. It's the grace. Hallelujah. Don't you know that the grace of God is available for us even in the, at this moment, in this month? The grace of God has been made available for us. The grace of God is the power of God. You don't need to depend on your power. You just need to depend on the help of God, on the grace of God. As we begin to go into the prayer section right now, you begin to see the power of grace being made manifest on our behalf. The grace is at work. It's the throne of grace. Prayer is the throne of grace. When you come in, prayer walk by grace. Hallelujah. And the grace of God will be released. Said. The Bible says in the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 10, He said, I will pour, come on, I will pour upon the house of David the, the spirit of grace and supplication. The spirit of grace, the spirit of prayer, walk with the spirit of grace. And I want you to begin to pray wherever you are right now, wherever, lift up your voice and begin came to declare let the grace of God eh, let the grace of God eh, let the grace of God eh, that oh Lord bring salvation that bring perfection oh Lord be revealed right now in the name of Jesus eh, according to Titus chapter 2 verse 14 and the grace of God eh, that brings salvation that brings success eh, that brings healing that brings perfection let it appear to me open your mouth and begin Get to pray. Le proskato ki lapata le gato. I gata le prosketo le broshakata. Manko le broshakoya. Lord, pour out your spirit of grace and upon everyone that are under the sound of my voice and that are watching me live right now. In the name of Jesus, eh, let the grace of God be poured. Eh. Le proskato le broshakoya. Manko without measure. Mantoria ta, mantori brosha kuria, igatori brosha kania. Pour out the spirit of grace, and le brosha ka. When the grace of God is not is is poured, and manko struggle cease. Begin to pray right now. Le brosha tori brosha kota, mantori brosha kuria ta, manko priata le brosha kuria, man le prosketoria ta. Let the power of God be released right now in the name of Jesus. Grace for perfection, let it come upon me. Grace for perfection, let it come upon me. Perfect my life and perfect my home. Perfect everything that concerns me. No more struggle, no more confusion. Let the grace of God be activated right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray. You need to activate the grace of God. He say, my grace is sufficient for you in the name of Jesus. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1, it said there is an appointed time for grace to manifest. And this is the appointed time for grace of God to manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus, when the grace of God is at work in your life, you will begin um, to enjoy the, the fullness of God's blessing. You will begin to enjoy the uh, limited breakthrough. You will begin to enjoy um, Mantoria, Satoria, the peace of God, the power of God, the love of God. Things will begin to work out for you in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. I want you to pray right now. Let the old oh Lord be the season where old oh Lord um, my, my dry season. Oh Lord is coming to an end uh, right now. God is terminated your appointment um, with failure right now. God is terminating your appointment. Um, oh Lord, with struggle right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, somebody declare, I will not fail. In the name of Jesus, by the grace of God, I will cross over. By the grace of God, God will perfect my good Lord. Oh Lord, everything that concerns me, begin to pray right now. Let the power of grace be released. There is what they call the spirit of grace. The Bible says we should not, oh Lord, insult the spirit of grace. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Grace never go wrong. Grace always manifests. Oh Lord, at the appointed time. This is your appointed time. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 102, verse 13. And God will arise and have mercy on Zion. For time to favor her. Favor there is grace. Hallelujah. Another word for grace is favor. Hallelujah. Another word for grace. The Bible says Noah found grace. Another word, Noah found favor. Esther found favor before the king. In other words, he found grace. This is we are tapping into the grace of God. And we are tapping into the favor of God. Favor is for a lifetime. You don't need to live this month without the favor and the grace of God. You need it. You need it. You need the grace. If you want to enjoy unlimited breakthrough, if you want God to perfect that which concerns you, you will need to pray for the grace to be released. You will need to activate the grace for perfection. Hallelujah. The grace that brings salvation. The grace, O oh Lord, that brings healing. Let's look at the scripture. Let me show you in the book of uh, Acts, um, chapter 11, verse 23. Acts, chapter 11, verse 23. I want you to look at it. We are tapping into the grace of God. Leprous Catoria. Acts 11, verse 23. The Bible says, when he came and have seen the grace of God, he was glad. When he came and encouraged them, O oh Lord, with the purpose of art, that they should continue in the Lord. Grace of God can be seen. The Bible says, when he came and he had seen the grace of God, people will see the grace of God manifesting in your life. When the grace of God is at work in your life, people will bless you. Hallelujah. Look at Luke chapter 2, verse 40. Luke chapter 2, verse 40. Lepro Shekuria Ta Pruyanto Mankuri Broshaka. Something is about to manifest. And the Bible says, and the child grew. You this is the time you are going to grow. And the Bible says, be, and became strong in the spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God eh, was upon him grace of god was upon him i pray that the grace of god will be upon you in the name of jesus sir the grace of god if you want to enjoy unlimited breakthrough the apostle enjoy the grace of god and great grace look at it in the book of acts chapter 4 verse 30 30 33 acts chapter 4 verse 33 let's look at it together libros katoria the bible say and with great power, the apostle gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them all. I want you to lift up your voice wherever you are. You need great grace to manifest in your life. You need great grace to be upon you. In the name of Jesus, sir. The Bible says, with great power, the apostle gave witness, sir. 
to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and great grace eh, was upon them. Are you struggling at your, at your place of work? Eh? Are you struggling to break through? Are you struggling? Are the people, oh Lord, eh, be neglecting you? The grace, you need the grace of God, oh Lord, to break the yoke of rejection. You need the grace of God eh, to break the yoke eh, of darkness upon your life. Eh, in the name of Jesus, eh, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Let the grace of God manifest them. Eh. Let the grace of God manifest them. Eh. Based on the scripture we have read, eh, the Bible said the grace was upon them. Let the grace of God be upon me. Let me be filled with wisdom. Let me grow. Let me mature. Let me be filled with the spirit of grace. Eh. Oh Lord, Pratoria, baptize me with the spirit of grace. Eh. Grace for perfection. Grace for increase. Eh. Grace for multiplication. Grace for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Eh. I need the grace of God eh, at my workplace. Eh. I need the grace of God. Eh. Mantoria car. Somebody you want to buy a house, you need the grace of God. You cannot do it by yourself. Eh. You want to move into the bigger place. Eh. You need enlargement. Eh. It's the grace of God that can enlarge you. It's the grace of God that can, oh Lord, establish you. It's the grace of God that can Bring, take you to the place eh, because the grace is a bridge. Eh. If you look at what you want to achieve in life, eh, you can walk eh, you know, for 25 years eh, and you will not move ahead. Eh. But when the grace of God is at work, eh, it will terminate you. It will catapult. It will terminate the yoke of bondage and catapult you to greatness. Eh. I see somebody right now. What you cannot achieve, Matori eh, Broshaka, for years. Eh, I. Pray right now. Let the grace of God eh, make it happen for you. Make it happen for you. Make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus, eh, let the grace of God eh, make it happen for you. Matori broshakata, lindali broshatoria, miakoriata, makopriatalia, ikatori broshaka. Begin to pray. Grace for perfection. Let it rest upon me. In the name of Jesus. Eh, Somebody you are sick in your body. It's the grace of God that can bring salvation to you. It's the grace of God that can make you all oh walk out of your sick bed and you begin to experience divine wholeness. The grace of God is coming to you and you will recover speedily. You need the grace of God. There is no amount of effort. The Bible says it's not of him that will, it's not of him that run it, it's of God that show mercy, it's the God of all grace. Hallelujah. I pray the grace of God eh, to manifest right now in the area where you have been struggling, in the area where you have been struggling, which area do you need the grace of God? The grace of God is the power of God. The Bible says I commend you to God. And to the word of his grace. Why? Because he will enable you. He will build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. I pray for you today. I will pray for you your also today. Let the grace of God appear. That's why we share the grace, eh? the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now forevermore. Whenever we share, we are not just quoting. We are saying, let the grace of God be with you. Let the grace of God be with you. Let the grace of God come upon you. Let the grace of God manifest in your life. Let the grace of God Oh Lord, eh, begin to do something different. You are going to pray. You are going to activate. You are going to call forth the grace of God. Eh. Oh Lord, for perfection this morning. You need the grace of God. For God to perfect everything that concerns you. The Bible says, Noah found grace in the sight of God. And God perfect you, oh Lord, in, the, in his generation. He was a perfect man in his generation. He was a just man. You know, we are living in the, in the when things are very difficult, it's only people that have access eh, to the grace of God. If you are listening to me, you are not born again. You 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 are not born again. You need to get born again right now and have access.
access to the grace of God. And in the name of Jesus, uh, pray, if you want somebody to tap into this grace, share this video. Uh, we are going to be praying for the manifestation of the glory of God. Grace of God bring the manifestation of the glory of God. If you read Second Corinthians, you will know what the glory of God can do. The glory of God is what transforms a man. And grace is what releases the glory of God. Father, we just thank you today. I thank you, O oh Lord, for everyone under the sound of my voice right now. Let the grace manifest. This month, let the grace manifest like never before. Let, let struggle be terminated. Let those who are sick be healed by the power of God's grace right now in the name of Jesus Father lift up your people right now in the name of Jesus let grace catapult you to the next level I'm praying for you there is a marriage that is under severe attack of the enemy I'm praying for that marriage that the grace of God will enter in the grace of God will enter in Couple receive grace, uh, receive grace. Uh, I'm praying for the, that child uh, that has been struggling, oh Lord, to simulate, uh, oh Lord, to assimilate or to, 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 to be able to comprehend things. Uh, I'm praying for that child. Let the grace of God begin to touch your brain in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm praying for that person that is believing God for contract. You submitted a contract and and they put your paper aside eh? the grace of God will answer for you in the name of Jesus eh? where you have been neglected where you have been rejected I see the grace eh? oh Lord manifesting on your behalf right now in the name of Jesus I break the yoke of suffering in your life enter into your grace right now and the God of all grace eh? after you have suffered for a while we establish you I pray the grace of God will establish you. It will perfect that which concerns you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the voice of Apostle Victor Martin of, uh, of IPAM. Hallelujah. I'm so excited you could join me today. Things are going to happen in your life. Share your testimony with us. Type your testimony on Facebook. Answer to the call of God upon your life right now through this media. And I want to know that God is going to bless you mightily. If God has blessed you, you want to share your testimony, you can share it through the email that is, you know, you know the ticker banners that is uh, 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 on the screen right now and allow God to minister to you. And if you want to be a blessing and God has blessed you, you want financial breakthrough, it's a principle. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shall men give unto your bosom. Your giving can open doors for you. Do you know it's, it's, it takes grace to give? Hallelujah. The grace of God. The Bible is saying that God loves a cheerful giver. And God of all grace will make all grace abound to you. If you want all grace to abound to you, one of the ways to tap into it is through giving. And as you give to this ministry to support the work that we are doing, God will begin to bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Our PayPal account is on the screen. You can uh, pay through PayPal, but if you want to pay through Nigeria, um, Nigeria account, get in touch with me um, and we will send you um, account details to you. God bless you and increase you more and more. I want to see you at the top. It's my delight, it's my, it's my ultimate desire for God to give you your breakthrough and receive it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. See you tomorrow. God bless you.